Hello friends. In the previous video, we have discussed about the chemical properties of metals and in that we have discussed the reactions of metals with oxygen and water. Now in this video, we will discuss about the reactions of metals with acids and with salts of other metals and we will also discuss about the reactivity series. First about reaction of metals with acids. In the chapter acid and base, we also discuss these reactions. Most metal reacts with acids to give a salt and hydrogen gas. And generally this acid should be dilute. That's why we can write metal plus dilute acid gives salt plus hydrogen. Reaction of metals with dilute acids are exothermic. It means large amount of energy is released. See the equations of the reactions of magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron with dilute hydrochloric acid. These are the reactions with magnesium. This is for aluminium, this is for zinc and this is for iron. This is the salt and this is hydrogen. This is magnesium chloride, aluminium chloride, zinc chloride and this is iron second chloride. Now in this case you have to remember this iron can also form in this form this is FeCl3 but the final product it always FeCl2. Actually in this case this hydrogen is a reducing agent and it can reduce Fe3 plus into Fe2 plus. That's why we will not get FeCl3. Now on the basis of these reactions, we can arrange these metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity. It is magnesium is most reactive among these four. Then aluminum is less, zinc is further less and iron is the most least reactive among these four metals. And if we see the reaction of copper with HCl, copper does not react with the dilute HCl. These are the reactions of some metals with acids. Hydrogen gas is not evolved when a metal reacts with nitric acid. Important point is there. With nitric acid, hydrogen gas is not evolved. Why? Because HNO3 that is nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the H2 produced to water and itself gets reduced to any of the nitrogen oxides. This is nitrous oxide, this is nitric oxide and this is nitrogen dioxide. That's why final product is hydrogen is not there with the HNO3. But Magnesium and manganese react with very dilute HNO3 to evolve H2 gas. Now this is one another term, aqua regia. This is the Latin and in Latin its meaning is royal water and it is a freshly prepared mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid in ratio of 3 is to 1. This is aqua regia. It can dissolve gold, clear? Even though neither of these acids can do so alone. It means gold cannot dissolve in concentrated HCl alone. It cannot dissolve in concentrated HNO3 alone. But if we take the mixture of these two acid in 3 is to 1 ratio, we will get the aqua regia. And in this aqua regia, gold will dissolve. Aqua regia is highly corrosive and fuming liquid. And it is one of the few reagents that is able to dissolve gold and platinum. Now, see, next reaction is reaction of metals with the solutions of other metal salts. Dear students, these are the some reactions which we have discussed in the even chapter first chemical reactions and equation we all also discuss now just we will try to recall our memory in this case we are taking this is copper sulfate solution in this case we dip iron nail and in this we have taken the iron sulfate solution and in this case we dip the copper wire and keep the test tube for some time what we you will observe 
you will see in this case in this test tube there is the no change is observed but in this test tube the blue color of the copper sulfate is faded and finally it becomes colorless and there is a one black brown coating is deposited on this iron nail i think you have understood what is the type of this reaction actually this is a displacement reaction in this case the more reactive metal a displaces the less reactive metal b from its salt solution like in this case we can write the equation zinc is more reactive it displaces copper from copper sulfate solution and we will get zinc sulfate and copper clear we can then see reactive metals can dissolve less reactive metal from their compounds in solution or in molten form molten means melted form zinc being more reactive displaces copper from copper sulfate solution now on the basis of the displacement reaction and whatever the reactions we have discussed these metals can be arranged in the order of their decreasing activities or decreasing reactivities and this list of metals is known as reactivity series clear the reactivity series is a list of metals arranged in the order of their decreasing activity this is a some metals are arranged in the this reactivity series in this potassium is the most reactive metal and gold is the least reactive metal and these are the some intermediate reactive metals again remember student in this case this hydrogen is not a metal but it is included actually whatever the metals above this hydrogen above this hydrogen they can displace hydrogen from dilute acids and liberate the hydrogen gas and the metals which below in the activity series cannot displace hydrogen from dilute acids clear now see some question based on this reactivity series this is your textbook question in n text question sample paper of four samples of four metals a b c and d were taken and added to the following solution one by one the result obtained have been tabulated as follows these are the metals a b c and d and these are the solution iron second sulfate copper c o double p e r copper second sulfate this is zinc sulfate and this is silver nitrate now in this case a will not react with the iron second sulfate but iron with copper second sulfate displacement reaction is taking place clear these try to understand this table then on this table questions are there which is the most reactive metal what would you observe if b is added to a solution of copper second sulfate and arrange the metals a b c and d in the order of decreasing reactivity now we try to explain answer of this question now see from this table we can conclude like this when a is added to the feso4 no reaction is taking place this one is no reaction it means a is less reactive than iron when a is added to the copper sulfate displacement reaction is taking place this is given in this displacement it means a is more reactive than copper in the same way when b is added to the feso4 see this is b this is added to the feso4 what is happening displacement reaction is taking place we can say b is more reactive than iron and when b is added to the zinc sulfate and no reaction see this is no reaction it means b is less reactive than zinc and when c is added to the feso4 or cuso4 or zno4 in three cases no reaction is taking place this is no reaction no reaction this is no reaction it means c is less reactive than iron c is less reactive than copper c is less reactive than zinc but in the last when c is added to the silver nitrate displacement reaction is taking place that's why we can say c is more reactive than silver and now in the last when d metal is added to iron second sulfate copper second sulfate or zinc sulfate or silver nitrate no reaction is taking place it means d is less reactive than iron copper zinc and silver on the basis of this explanation we can arrange these metals in this order of reactivity it is zinc is the most reactive then 
this is the decreasing order of reactivity clear then zinc b iron a copper c silver and d now students it is easy to give the answer which is the most active metal this is b what would you observe if b is added to a solution of copper second sulfate now see this is b is more reactive than this is copper what will happen displacement reaction will taking place and b would displace copper from copper sulfate clear last question arrange the metals a b c and d in the order of decreasing reactivity so you can say most reactive metal is b then a then c and least reactive metal is d this is the order okay thanks